Hi guys, this came in the post today. Uh, it's for I bought it for gun lubrication for all the mechanisms. It's WD-40 silicon spray. Uh, we've got the two valves. There's one here, and this arm goes up like that. It's about a few inches that arm, and when it's up, I'll just do a wee test on this hot wall. When it's up, it does a more uh, how would you describe it? It's sort of more accurate. So it's like that. Really accurate. It's for getting in really tight spaces. And uh, that's for that one. And when you flip it down, you use this one. You use this for a wide range. I'm not too sure what you'd use it for. But we'll go and test it on the wall again. So as you can see, that's a much more whiter spray. Maybe for a bigger object or a bigger part that you're wanting to lubricate. Now this, uh, when the G18 was away getting fixed, this was recommended uh, by the guy on the phone. He said, uh, as the one over here, WD-40, that's the standard one. Sorry about that. <laughs> uh, this is the standard WD-40. As you can see there, it stops squeaks, drives out moisture. That, that, as you can see on top, that's from my dad. He's a bit of a messy little shit, to be honest. But uh, <laughs> this is mine, the cleaner one. It's newer as well, but uh, yeah. So this one, this is more. Well, this this one, the guy said not to use because it can uh, fill up the gun. It can gun uh, gunge it up. Sorry. Uh, I'm not an expert on it, but I'd recommend this one by far. Uh, if you just want to look into it, feel free, but this is what I'm recommending. Uh, it's more, as I say, it's more for guns, that's what I got it recommended for. Uh, down here we see uh, it prevents parts from sticking, waterproofs and protects against any moisture. And it's perfect for metal and plastic, rubber and wood. So that's ideal for when it comes to guns. Uh, I've got the G18 here again. It's in bits just now, as, as you saw if uh, if you saw my last video uh, about it. And uh, so it's just for bits. And a bit here, and a bit the spring and here, all on top. Just because uh, sometimes it'll fire one shot, and it's not chambering the round and everything. Just because the gun's sort of sticking up and it's not, it's all sort of dry and needing some moisture. So this is the one to get, this This will stop that. And uh, so you just put it in bits, like here's a spring here, I'll try and take this out. Uh, so there's the spring. Take that out. Uh, take the barrels out. Well, one barrel, but... You'll see what I mean, it all fits into one. Uh, there we go. Easier said than done with one hand and trying to hold a camera at the same time. Uh, yeah, so as I say, it's perfect for what I'm using it for. And I would recommend it if you're looking for something to stop your gun from, as I say, following up on anything. So there we go. Perfect for in a bit there. Say if you just wanted to put it into parts, that will balance like that. Yep, perfect for bits in a bit there, in there, and a bit there. You don't want to put too much on because uh, it could just drown it if you know what I mean. But you don't want to go too easy on it, or you know, you don't want to put too little in. Here, maybe just bits in for a bit for chambering around in there. So you guys get the idea and about here you've got the these bits. And I think it also can be used for cleaning. In fact no it probably can but this the WD forty is more for taking rust off and all the rest of it. So I hope that you guys find this useful guys. Uh so yeah, as I say, go for this one if it's for what I'm wanting to use it for and hopefully what you are wanting to use it for. 
and uh, so yeah guys we've got some more videos coming up on the future I'm waiting on gas uh, as I said in the last video I'll be doing that trick shot and uh, one for 500 subs that I will be, I'm not going to tell you what that is you so I'll just have to stay tuned and uh, so yeah guys like this video, comment if you want to subscribe you guys know what to do, thank you guys for watching